we are we're speaking about what what is the room above us so <coughs> first of all the right now this this the reality the situation is that there's at least thousands if not millions of, of, of Christian tourists that coming here to this room above every year um, and it seems that, it, that it's uh, I, I'm not sure if it's in increasing but I, I think it, it is increasing not not so much there's the the Jews that are coming to the Kever David is much increasing much more oh Hashem um, but still the I think that the majority of the people that come here to this complex unfortunately is is non-jewish uh, people that coming as as Christians now they coming there and the tourist uh, guides and so on they tell them that it, this is the room of the Last Supper now um, one technical problem is that this room was built about a thousand years ago um, according to all the all the opinions of the of the like according to the structure of it the, the kind of building that they have it's not it's not it, it was not there when uh, when uh, JC was around so that's one technical problem. Another little technical problem that uh, there's about, as far as I know, like three places in Israel that it's claimed to be this, the same, like, same function. So that's another, another, another point. Now, so why, di why is it that they call it the Last Supper Room? Right? So this room that where we are sitting now, um, that used to be the office of Rav Mordechai Golshin Zatzal. And he, when he received Hatzion, Kevin David, he received it from Dr. Kahana, that he was in charge of all of the holy sites in Israel, from the, in the, in, from, the, from the state of Israel. He was like in charge of all of the Jewish sites. And specifically, he liked very much this, uh, this location, and that was his office. So when he gave Hatzion to uh, Roshiva Zatzal, Rav Goldshin, so Rav Goldshin made it to be also his office. The reason is because it is supposed to be the, the room of Rabbi Novadim in Pertenura, this room. So anyhow, Rav, uh, Dr. Kahana, he wrote a little book that is called Agadot Hartzion, the, the legends or the stories of Hartzion. Okay? And this, this book is, uh, is not a known book, and there's, uh, I, I, I got one of the copies as a, I borrowed it from someone, um, and I read a few stories there, and one of them happened to be about this room. So I'm not sure exactly what is the source of this story, but he was here for years, and he, was, he did a real like, research with all of the people that were here, like the old people that were here in, when he was around, which is about like 70 years ago. So the old people that were around 70 years ago, he asked them, and that's, that's as far as I understand, that's what he heard, <coughs> those stories. So the story about this room is that actually when the Crusaders were here in Yerushalayim, and they were trying to force the Christianity on the Jews of the old city, so the, the Jews, they ran, and they were hiding in that room. And the Crusaders, they, they found them when they, when they finished to eat dinner and, and murdered them. And what? I'm not sure if they, they just killed them or also burned them. I'm not sure exactly. But basically, they killed them. And they were laughing between them and saying that was their last supper. And they started to call it the room of the Last Supper because that for them it was like a joke that it's it, the, the Last Supper of those Jews that, that they killed. And, and they, they keep on calling it the, the room of the Last Supper. And then, it, and then like the, the another, another generation after that, they already forgot about the whole story with those Jews that were hiding there. And they just remember they called this room the, the room of the Last Supper. So, it, it, so it, it's in, according to this story, it's exactly the opposite. It's not, it's not, not only that it's not a, a Christian site, it's actually, it happens to be a very holy Jewish site. Because it's a place that Jews gave their life to keep the Torah and not, not to fall into Christianity. So it's, it's exactly, exactly the opposite. 